Kwajalein missile range has taken a big step towards the modernization of its radar systems. The Kwajalein Modernization and Remoting Project, or KMAR, started in 1997, will allow the four Krems radars to be operated remotely from stations on Kwajalein using new standardized equipment. The goal is to remote ROY to reduce costs. Alcor is the first radar to be modernized and remoted, and is shown that it works. The new equipment at Alcor takes a modern approach, using store-bought computer hardware and then adding Alcor specific software. Each Krems radar will have the same layout and use essentially the same hardware. This standardized hardware will reduce the need for so many specialists, as essentially only the software will differ from one radar to the next. This radar open system architecture, or ROSA, is very different from the old system in which each station had a completely unique setup. Engineers at Alcor are using both the old and new equipment during the transitional phase, using what are called Y switches. This allows the new equipment to be used during testing, but the old system can be switched back on for missions. An Alcor command console located on Quaj, affectionately called Alcor South, is nearly identical to this console located on Roy. This allows for the radar to be operated from KMCC instead of commuting personnel to Roy. This all-new equipment follows with the KMAR project by using standardized off-the-shelf equipment and fewer operators. These three operators, using normal PC tools like a mouse and keyboard, will replace the old system that used seven operators and site-specific controls. This system is already operational and is scheduled to be fully mission-ready by October. It has been tested during four missions, one being a MET rocket launch, and has performed spectacularly. A celebration was held on June 15th to mark the progress that the KMAR project has made at Alcor. This program is forcing us to address every aspect of the way we do business. Everything is being examined from how much automation needs to be used to where our primary place of work will be. Not only will the CREMS organizational structure possibly change, but also my each individual job description. The signature radar effort is not evolutionary, but revolutionary. For the past four decades, CREMS has evolved. In general, systems were modified, they changed slowly over time. However, this program is revolutionary. It signifies the biggest team effort in CREMS' 40-year history. This team includes USACA, KMR, MIT, Raytheon, and certainly a significant CONUS effort. This is by far the most significant project, at least the technical side of the range has taken on in years. Not only do we have new hardware and software, but also, as Jeff pointed out, major paradigm shifts. This is the first radar open system architecture, allowing tremendous savings in O&M staffing, spares, and training. Not only has KMAR changed the way we do things here at the range with respect to radar, but it's also challenging the broader radar community to think differently. You know, we've been talking a lot about this APIC and the mission requirements and you know, everybody's a team and all that. If you, if you have a chance, if you haven't already, take a look at that. But the very first thing on, on uh, a mission essential task list that supports all of these uh, objectives and, and uh, mission and vision statements is we support the warfighter. As I draw that line to the reason why we're all here, to that warfighter out there, to the soldier, you're directly supporting that and you're making things better for the warfighter and for our country. What are we here today doing? Uh, are we recognizing completion? Uh, no, we're really recognizing that we've accomplished the first step. We have a real live breathing radar that uh, operates from a remoted location, and it's really the proof that you know this thing will work, uh, and that's what I want to recognize. A briefing was given over the four missions the new Alcor system was tested with over the last two months. All were run from KMCC and tested different aspects of the radar system. They included a MET rocket launch, which is the object swimming around in the center uh, for the KMR. FTMO2. Early on in this mission, once uh, the, at the TLVD. And in the meantime, <coughs> cycled through quite a few. Also quite valid and GT172. I just want to say thank you for your support. Uh, when I first came on board, I didn't think KMR would ever get there. It's doable. Uh, it's, it's happening now. Uh, and that's good. So, again, thank you all for making that happen. Alcor's success with KMAR is truly a large step towards modernization of the Kwajalein missile range and a window into the future of radar systems.
for Window on the Atoll, I'm Sarah Ankofsky, CPN Kwajalein.